I have had pretty much every type of reaction to these mugs that you could possibly imagine. <laughs> um, a lot of people are really into the mugs. Some people just don't get it. Clay is such a muddy and messy material. And you have all these different parts of a piece. You have the lip and the waist and the foot and you know these very human parts of a piece. Whether you agree with them or not, it starts a conversation. I think the best part about these mugs is that they're eye-catching. They really are. Hi, my name is Tessa Wheeler. I am currently studying industrial design at The Ohio State University. I have a creative drive, I guess. I always have to be doing something creative. It runs in the family. <laughs> and design, I think, just came naturally. That's what both of my parents do, and um, that's what drew me into industrial design. But ceramics, um, I actually started that in high school, and Ever since then, it was kind of like a bug that I caught and I couldn't get rid of it. So now I do that on the side and it's kind of fun looking back now because my grandma had actually done ceramics. So, um, you know, while I'm creating milk mugs and jugs, my dad is finding her old tools and clay in my grandpa's basement. So it's kind of cool to have that connection between her life and what she's done and then also now like what I like doing too. My first mug I made in a class. We were supposed to find something happening in current events and mix it with a technique or, you know, a certain way of building and making things. So I found this type of glazing that I really enjoyed and I mixed it with how women were being portrayed in social media. A lot of women are being portrayed as, you know, these hourglass figures and everything's perfect about them and they're, you know, airbrushed and they look great, they sound great, but I don't look like these women being portrayed on TV. How can I connect with something that isn't that? I included all those wrinkles and, you know, bulbous folds or, you know, one lopsided breast or, you know, a little freckle here. I think just promoting that empowerment and focusing on giving every shape of voice and even if it's not something that I sit down and say I'm going to make this type of mug today it's something that comes out and someone else can look at and say I feel empowered by this I feel happy holding this and I want to show everyone it and you know I'm not a clean cut Instagram photoshopped model you know all the time Seeing where the product goes after it's left my hands is the more exciting part. You know, seeing it land on a shelf to someone's kitchen table, you know, while they're drinking tea before a 4 a.m. flight. You know, I love getting those photos and getting those stories because it shows that something I care so much about is being appreciated and being loved and being taken care of by someone else who can find just as much joy in that product.